Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Wiseman and today we're going to be going our, over our February Divine Astrology 2022. And we're sort of continuing with this idea that we've actually been working on since uh, last year, since 2021. Um, when we sort of embarked upon or began the embarking upon get Age of Aquarius, you know, we're still very early into this new age, uh, just just barely begun. And so even though we're in 2022 and even though we're in February, uh, these, these ideas of a cycle being completed and a new cycle beginning remain just as, just as, current as always and so here we're going to go with the channeled forecast for february which is the cycle begins anew this reminder that even as you're in this uh, for most of you uh, northern hemisphere at least in this time of the world when things are colder maybe even snowy or inclement weather uh, where we are actually emerging from a period of rest and we are emerging from a period of a darkness the cycle begins anew dark to light light to dark dark to light the waves of change continue endlessly in the cycle of birth death rebirth this endless cycle of change this endless reality of the universe this is what is happening in nature on Gaia planet Earth and this is what is also happening for you for all of you there is a reason that so many societies in this world gather in celebration during this time of the year this general time of winter into spring on northern hemisphere at least for many months you have been hurtling toward the dark now that cycle is complete it is the beginning of the return to light. A cycle is completed. We're just finishing that up. A cycle is begun. We're finishing it up in the small way with the seasons, but we're also finishing it up in the busier, the bigger way with the age of Aquarius uh, taking over from age of Pisces. So how does this feel to you in your body, mind, and soul? What are the ways that you may contemplate and celebrate this, this change? And so first we ask that you consider what has been hidden in your life during this cycle and what is now revealed. What secrets have been revealed? What has been brought into the light? You may look at this in your relationship to society the bigger trends happening in your relationship to others, the people in your life, and in your relation to, to your own swirling thoughts and emotions. The secrets that have been hiding before, these have been uncovered, brought to light. It can be difficult to have a secret revealed, and actually this is whether it's your own or someone else's, and yet or um, the bigger someone else is that of society. And yet there is a great relief when there is no secret. The light reveals all, and this is joyous. The cycle of dark to light is change and brings change. So they're saying what darkness has been revealed in your society for you? What darkness has been revealed in your relationships for you? What darkness has been revealed in your own mind for you? And just as an interjection from the bigger to the mundane to the intimate society, relationships, and the intimate yourself with yourself, your soul with your under you as a soul, understanding yourself as a soul. So for some of you, societal changes are the most important. For others, relationship changes are the most dominant. And for others, the changes in your own mind are what affect you the most. 
And I would guess that the further you've been on this path, the more that last part is going to resonate with you. You're sort of understanding, you know, the continual change in the world, in your, the big world, and then, then in your smaller world. It's um, what's happening in your mind or your emotions. What's happening there? How, what is your response to all of the change around? This is what may interest you the most. We say all of you are releasing the same vibration, the gritty lower energies of contraction, which are hatred, anger, and fear. The light has come and it is impossible for light to not shine forth. We ask that you consider what you have learned about hatred, anger, and fear recently. By recently, I believe that they mean the last years and then the last decades, maybe even the last centuries in your society, in your relationships, and in your own mind. Many of you have come face to face with your own relationship to hatred, which is the antithesis of connection. Hatred is separation, and that is myths, misbelief. Many of you have come face to face with your own relationship to anger which is the desire for control, which is impossible in a universe that's always changing. And so this is also misbelief. Many of you have come face to face with your own relationship to fear, which is about trust in a universe that always works to advance the soul collective to light. And so fear, this is also a misbelief. And so consider, does a tree hate the storm that is approaching? No, a tree knows that all are affected by the storm, which is a part of the greater cycle of all interconnection. So the tree knows it is one with the storm, that they are not separate. Does a tree rage at the storm that is approaching? No. The tree knows it has no authority over the storm. It cannot control its chaos. The tree knows it is part of the storm and this allows it to relax. Does the tree fear the storm? No, the tree knows everything changes. Everything is interconnected. Everything is one. All things are affected by all other things. The tree surrenders to what is. Letting go of fault and blame, letting go of worry and anxiety, surrendering to what is. Change is how things are. Earth, death, rebirth are the continual cycle, and this is endless across all lifetimes for all humans and all other beings. As human in this lifetime, you and me, we're human, here we are now, it's impossible to understand all the karmic experiences you have experienced over thousands of lifetimes. Everything is written as change in a universe that always flows. Your free will allows you to determine not the course of events, but your reaction and your action. We suggest consider yourself as one of one, and this will allow you to relax when change arrives, as it always does. When change arrives, and it is what we perceive as negative change, we tend to panic, blame, and want to control. But when we remember that what we are experience has, experiencing has been experienced already, over many lifetimes, we can also remember that we cannot and do not need to control. Change happens because this is the way of everything, birth to death to rebirth, light to dark to light again. When we know this, we know we can relax in the middle of change, even change that seems unbearable or unimaginable. Change is here again, and your oneness means you experience everything together. 
As humans, you will want to blame and control. You will want to seek a better outcome for yourself and those you are in relationship to. Yet again, look from point of oneness and you see again, when one suffers, all suffer. When one knows love, all feel love. There's no escaping this. Oneness means you are not in interconnected. Well, that too, but oneness does not only mean you are interconnected, it means you are the same. One consciousness, collective soul. This understanding will help you during this time of accelerated awakening. The suffering, the chaos, the disruption, the way that things are different now and will never be the same. All of this is helping you to create change, positive change. Many things have not worked for many of you for a long time. So you are seeing this now. Darkness is coming to light. Light is here so you can see what needs to change and you can relax into what is changing. Remember. Thoughts are telepathy. Whatever you think, whatever thoughts and feelings are in your mind, arrive from collective soul, which is created by all of you, not just humans, but all beings on Gaia and in all of the universe. All beings, all in telepathic and energetic connection. So out of darkness, what is being reborn? What is being reborn in you as a soul? And what is being reborn to you as part of collective soul as one? The light is here. The rebirth is here. Lift your eyes up from hatred, fear, and anger and see what is real, what is actually in front of you. The new awareness has arrived. It's not just for you and you who have been aware already for some time. It is all of you holding that spark of light. I am Sarah Wiseman, and if you want to receive Divine Astrology every month direct to your inbox, go to my website, sarahwiseman.com, and you'll find it <laughs> easily there. Just sign up for free gifts or other places, and you'll be put on the list for that. Um, it's my great honor to be with you. Thank you, everyone, and look forward to being with you next time.